So, Bunny. Yes. Did you hear about gas in Oregon? What? Gas in Oregon. No, I have not heard about gas in Oregon. I, I heard about okay, it. Okay, I wasn't sure if you had heard this story. I was kind of sort of hoping you hadn't, and I was pretty sure that you didn't. I did. So let's, so let's talk about Oregon for a second here. Let me catch you up. So at the, so the beginning of the new year um, usually means that a lot of new laws kick in, new local laws and whatever kicking in. Okay. So Oregon is one of those oddball states, along with New Jersey, <laughs> that doesn't allow customers to pump their own gas. Okay. That is such an old, antiquated, ass-backwards, out-of-date bit of legal nonsense that I'm actually surprised that Oklahoma doesn't also do this. Well, you know, I have gotten gas in Oregon in the past. And believe me, it's quite a luxury to sit in your car and have somebody else pump the gas for you. It's a but luxury. Just, it's wonderful. But every time I want gas is always like the like when I go to get gas, most of the time it's it's rush hour. It's a busy day. It's it's I imagine every time I would go get gas, I'd be in a line. Uh not necessarily. I mean, I don't remember being in a line. Hmm. Hmm. But I, I'm crazy. surprised. But that anyhow, Oklahoma... I'm railroading your point. So anyhow, go ahead. No, it's okay. What I'm saying is I'm surprised that Oklahoma allows Oklahomans to pump gas. Oklahoma. Yeah. Remember, Oklahoma is so backwards. It's insane. Remember. That's the That's difference Oklahoma. between Oregonians and Oklahomans. <laughs> yeah. Remember, Oklahoma didn't fully legalize tattoos until 2006. Yeah. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Um, Tattoos were illegal? A tattoo parlors, opening a tattoo oh my God. parlor or being a tattoo artist was illegal in Oklahoma until 2006. So where did people go to get their tattoos? The seedy side of town. Oh, unregulated. Yeah. Unsanitary. You would have to go to the wrong side of the track. Go to like tattoos or abortions. Yeah, you'd have to go like to the other side of the tracks, Rocco and Vinny's. Uh, abortion clinic and tattoo. Yeah. Is, is that it? You get an abortion, you get a free tattoo. There you yeah. go. Yeah, that's kind of a good deal. Yeah. Oklahoma, where the hicks come sweeping down the plain. <laughs> In trucks, there's a lot of trucks. There's a lot of trucks around here. Anywho, Oregon has 36 different counties, and starting in January 1st, roughly half of those counties now allow non-employees to pump gas, okay? Okay. So this story probably wouldn't have gone, would have gone unnoticed were it not for the Medford, Oregon News, specifically KTVL CBS News 10, which asked its viewers what they thought. What do you, the viewers at home, think about? being able to pump your own gas for the first time. And what would this being a CBS station, a massive crap ton of old ass people who 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 have lived in Oregon all of their lives and have never pumped their own gas. These old fogies got on social media to complain about pumping their own gas and oh my god, it was hilarious. <laughs> oh. In fact, I got a few right here. These are statements that people made on the KTVL CBS News 10 Facebook page about being able to pump their own gas. Okay, let's hear these. I don't even know how to pump my own gas, and I am 62, native Oregonian. I say no thanks. I don't want to smell like gasoline. <laughs> That's the one thing I hate about pumping gas. You go to pump gas, but you not being a trained professional, get it all over your clothes. Yeah. Every time you pump gas, and then you you always know who just got gas because they're just dripping of fluid. Mm -hmm. And it's Here's worse for smokers. Oh yeah, yeah. You can always you always know who's a smoker 
Because they're in flames. Yes. They're just in flames. Here's another statement. I have lived in this state all my life, and I refuse to pump my own gas. This is a service that only qualified people should perform. <laughs> qualified? I will literally park- yeah. Do they have qualified. like maybe a master's degree or what are we looking for here? I don't know, but if you're looking for a new business venture, people in Oregon should start having gas pumping classes. Yeah. It's a good business venture. I will literally park at the pump and wait until someone pumps my gas for me. I go to work. So at you five. can go. You can go to a gas station and just start working and not work for the gas station. Just be an independent gas pumper. Yeah, yeah. Do these people get tips? Do you have to tip these people? Uh, if that's my source of income, you fucking well do. Yeah. But those are no, no, because those work for the company. They work for the gas station. So no, you don't tip them. You don't my gas, pump my gas, but I'm not tipping you. Why? That's my that's my only income. I I I go to I'm a freelance gas pumper. Okay. So you just show yeah. up at a gas station yeah. and offer to pump people's gas? Yeah. I was a freelance gas pumper. My father was a freelance gas pumper. <laughs> You're trying to take money so off why of. Can't you just, like, do it here? There's a job for you. Because the people here don't mind pumping their own gas. <laughs> That's good. It's the people in Oregon who are flipping all out. That's yeah. Here's another one. I go to work at five in the morning. Not a lot of people at the gas pumps at that time in the morning. And yes, I will not feel safe. Yes, Bella. Yes, Eleanor. That book has a lot of cats. You should take it and go look at them. Eleanor. Go look at the kitty cats. Can you show me the cats? There you go. Show me the cats. Um, I will not feel safe pumping my own gas. Not to mention it's freezing and rainy. So thank you to all voted to change it. You have now taken away a nice luxury that most of us enjoyed. <laughs> so here's here's another one it's one of my favorites many people are not capable of knowing how to pump gas and the hazards of not doing it correctly oh wow that's true that's true i had to take like a in high school i had to take like, like a two-year class on how to pump gas <laughs> Well, the biggest problem when pumping your own gas is the ninja attacks. So many ninja attacks. Yeah. That's really what you have to watch out for. That's like the biggest threat. Mm-hmm. I saw it personally. I saw it in Oregon. Yeah. Jeannie saw it in Oregon. Yeah. People getting attacked by ninja. Yeah. While they usually happen. Gas. They usually happens to me while I'm eating millions of peaches. <laughs> yeah. Yuck, pumping my own fuel in freezing temperatures and a nasty old fuel nozzle that 50 other people have touched that day. And who knows what cooties are on there. Cooties? No Did they actually say cooties? Yes. Oh, yes. there is a well-thought intelligent response. Okay. I'm, have you ever thought of, like, when you're pumping gas, ooh, who has touched, who else has touched this nozzle? No, never. Never once. Yeah. Never thought of that before. Never thought of that before. Like, like what are you thinking? Oh, yeah. oh, we have a special guest here. Seventeen-month-old uh, Eleanor is here. Say hi, Eleanor. Hi. Okay, hi, now Eleanor. I, now, now, Eleanor, I have a few questions for you. Okay, I have a few questions for you. Okay, first off, first off, how do you feel President Trump is doing? President Trump, how do you think he's doing? Oh, I didn't think of that. That's a good point. That's a good point, Eleanor. I, I have another question for you. What do you think about um, the wave of sexual harassment allegations that are uh, 
that are going throughout Hollywood. What do you think about that? Wow, that is that statement. Shocking statement, Eleanor. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Eleanor, everybody. Eleanor, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that was a good interview. That was a good interview, Eleanor. Yeah. We're, we're going to get an award for you now. Thank you for that. Um, 